Hi everyone, so since the weather's been brighter I've been trying to spend as much time outside as we can. When it's sunny I just think it really improves your mood getting sunlight and I just love listening to the birds and everything and this was in the playground yesterday with my kids. We stopped there on the way to my parents' house. My daughter always says this on the swing. We called in and had a quick um, hot chocolate and ice cream for the girls in mods. I love their hot chocolate because they put Belgian chocolate in it and it's like proper melted chocolate so it just tastes different than anywhere else. Um, and yeah, like we just kind of sat and had a chat. It was so cold outside even though it was really sunny and bright. So it was kind of nice to have something warm and I don't know how the girls can stomach ice cream in that weather but they manage it. And then this morning I did, went to do some writing. I've started working on a book that I'm doing in InDesign and I just had a coffee in Cafe Nero. And then I was just walking home past the charity shops. I managed not to go into them. I've been trying to be good and like kind of get rid of things rather than collect more. And I have been quite restrained for me. I do love charity shopping though and finding unusual things. And then, um, I love passing this fruit shop as well every day because they always have really colourful fruit outside and it just cheers you up seeing it all. And I love this little cafe, it's called Mulbird. It's in Belfast and it's just such a lovely cafe and the lady who owns it is so nice and she's got my book in the window now and is selling a few of them. Um, so that was exciting seeing it on its little stand. And then I decided to kind of like bypass cleaning and go for a walk instead. Usually on Mondays, I try to do like most of the cleaning so I don't have to do it the rest of the week. Um, but I've been like kind of lazy about that today. I just ordered like an Iceland delivery because I couldn't be bothered going food shopping. And I decided to walk to the Greenway, which is um, like a path that it goes all the way to Cumber from Belfast and Dundonald as well, I think. And um, we used to go there like every single day during lockdown and it just really helped my mental health during that time because we were stuck in so much and we actually didn't see anyone during that time apart from like just me and the girls so I brought my Tim Hortons coffee cup with my own coffee in it with me it's my favorite like coffee cup because it keeps the coffee warm for like hours I don't know how exactly but it's just really good there's usually a lot of like dog walkers and cyclists on the Greenway, but it was quite quiet this morning. I guess it's probably the time whenever most people are working. So I felt kind of lucky to mostly have it to myself. Um, I just like associate this place completely with like the whole COVID thing because it's just like, it was basically what saved my sanity when we were stuck in the house a lot. But um, yeah, I just have a lot of good memories there with the girls, although I have to say it's a lot less stressful going there without their scooters and trying to keep them away from the road on the way there. And they always like to run up and down the banks in it um, and do lots of climbing. Um, yeah, it's still like, you can tell by looking around, it's still really wintry because there's just like, it's sort of brown and green, but no flowers or anything out. But like as the year goes on, there'll be more flowers and um, we would sometimes find blackberries around there as well. Um, there's always a lot of birds and I like listening to them singing. And during lockdown, they also had lots of rainbows painted and like stuck around on the fences because some people's like gardens are kind of backing onto the path. So yeah, I think they could improve it by putting in a few benches so you can sort of sit and pause and like on a nice day, it would be kind of peaceful to read there or maybe even like I could take my writing there. I don't know if I'll ever get around to that. I always plan to write in the park and never seem to do it. I don't know, I think coffee shops are just more appealing sometimes whenever it's cold. Um, and then I was lucky because I saw a squirrel and usually they bolt as soon as they see you, but I just stayed really still. And I think because my daughter wasn't with me and she wasn't screeching, it, it wasn't scared off easily. So yeah, um, I just watched it for a little while and um, I can see actually why my parents cat is scared of my daughter as well because she just has a very high pitched squeal and then I saw some of the like stalks starting to come up and I don't know if they're daffodils but it always makes me feel hopeful whenever I see that starting to happen. I decided to take a detour on the way home and go to a donut shop that 
I used to go to with the girls also in lockdown but we kind of don't go to very often because it's just in a different direction than we usually go. It's like a little independent donut shop and I managed to get vegan donuts which makes me happy because I'm lactose intolerant so like it means I can enjoy them. So I got some strawberry and vanilla ones and they're always really nice. Hi everyone, um, so I have to go and get my daughter from school in about 15 minutes so I just thought I'd make a quick video while it's peaceful. Um, she's out early all this week because of parent teacher meetings which is sort of annoying because as much as I like her company it's really hard to get everything done in that sort of short space of time uh, and I feel like I haven't got any cleaning done even now I still haven't done the breakfast dishes but I just think like you always will get around to that stuff eventually and sometimes you have to prioritize your mental health and how you're feeling and um, Mine has been a bit off recently and I think part of it is that I'm going to bed far too late. Like I've gotten a habit of going to bed after midnight. It definitely makes a big difference to me and it either makes me feel really sad the next day or else like really kind of hyped up and like I have so much energy I don't know what to do with it. So I'm going to try to kind of work it back a bit just gradually because I don't think I can go from 12 to like a 9 o'clock bedtime but yeah I need to kind of improve on that especially because my daughter is still up during the night quite a lot so she always wakes me at about like one or two and then if I've only got like one hour sleep it's just not enough Um, I went out to a shop today after my coffee just to get this is silly but like the toilet seat broke because of course the girls are so rough with everything and they threw themselves at it and it came off I was sort of dreading changing it because I hate doing jobs like that and I'm not good at DIY and I kind of just put it off but um, yeah I, I ended up treating I don't know if you can use the word treating for a toilet seat but treated myself to a sparkly pink toilet seat I just thought it was kind of funny and it just cheered me up and I was just like sometimes maybe you need to treat yourself to a sparkly toilet seat and um, I don't know I just feel like it's one of those things that really it's always plain and boring so I might as well kind of like liven it up a bit and it matches with the shower curtain and I just went to get a couple of things the girls needed um, like clothes wise and while I was there I got myself a couple of little presents and I am really interested in budgeting and I do implement that a lot but sometimes I think you just need to kind of get little things to like cheer yourself up so while I was there I got some earrings another pair of earrings they weren't expensive it's just like little things I got this like Home, which I'm going to try on my hair because I've got really curly hair and I don't know it just looked like something that might work well for it and I wanted to get one of those facial roller things for a while it's like it kind of massages your face and it's meant to make your skin less like wrinkly which I can always use Um, so I'm going to try that and when the girls get home from school I'm going to have donuts I'll probably have whatever one they don't want that's usually the way it works with like edible treats in our house and um, I'm going to have another walk now whenever I go get my daughter from school but because it's sunny and dry it just makes it so much more appealing and I actually find walking like it's just it really helps me like it's the time when I can process things and I just like I just get so many ideas when I'm walking but it also feels restful and um, I'm not really looking forward to later whenever I have to um, tidy up and rearrange everything and yeah but I will get around to that I might try and do like some speed tidying before I leave now um, and yeah yesterday I was at my mum's house and my sister was there too with her kids so there were five kids and it was all quite like like they all entertain each other really well whenever they're together they in some ways it's kind of easier than having two kids because they just like play lots of games together although they always want to pull you in to hide and seek and um, my mom and sister and I were um, laughing at like Instagram reels that she was showing me because yeah my sister just has this like talent for finding like really funny clips but um, my daughter was sitting kind of quietly doing something else in the corner while like sort of I guess she overheard what we were talking about and she said to me on the way home in the car um, you were acting like a bunch of teenagers and you shouldn't be having fun and laughing like that and I was like so because I'm an adult I'm not allowed to laugh or enjoy myself and she was like not when we're awake so I thought that was kind of funny like they're so bossy but like also 
Does, does she want me to have a big grumpy face on all the time? Because I feel like I have that enough and probably like secretly she probably enjoys whenever I'm hyper but also like you know whenever your mom just everything she does embarrasses you and I probably am that embarrassing mom at times to her anyway. So uh, I think my younger daughter is still at that stage where she just thinks everything is really fun and wants to join in and doesn't care how it like appears to other people. Um, I feel like my older daughter is becoming like a teenager already so yeah I have to do homework with them as well when they get home which just makes me feel like <sighs> um, but yeah I'll talk to you soon thanks for watching